I gaze into boyhood. I search the pages of literature. I listen carefully to many, many men, and I am convinced these desires are universal, a clue into masculinity itself. They may be misplaced, forgotten, or misdirected, but in the heart of every man is a desperate desire for a battle to fight, an adventure to live, and a beauty to rescue. Oh, Marley was as dead as a doornail. Scrooge knew he was dead? Well, of course he did. How could it be otherwise? Scrooge and he were partners for, I don't know how many years. Scrooge was his sole executor, his sole administrator, his only friend, and his only mourner. Scrooge never did paint out old Marley's name. There it stood. Years afterwards, above the warehouse door, Scrooge and Marley. The final bell rung. The fight was over. As he stepped down out of the ring, I stepped up, put out my hand, and said, I'm Roger Gray. He chucked my hand and said, I'm Cassius Clay. Within three minutes of our meeting, he said, I will be the heavyweight champion of the world by the time I'm 21. Children's Story, Christian Tales to Remember, written by Bill Vinson, Misty Mountain, Value Serving. Misty Mountain was the most perfect place there could be for two young bears to grow up together. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again eat supper, and then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer.